Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we are gonna start off with a segmented breath for depression. I don't think that I've ever taught you guys this before, and um, it's a really good one for if you're feeling sad or down or blue. It's a really, 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 really simple segmented breath practice to do when you're having those feelings. So, we're gonna go ahead and begin. And you just have your hands in your lap in a meditative posture. Sit with your eyes closed. You're gonna inhale four equal times through the nose and exhale in one long stroke through the nose. So it looks like this. Go ahead and begin. Pausing for a second at the top. One more time. Inhale. Exhale and relax. So you can do that as a meditation. And if you want to start, continue deepen your meditation practice, if you don't have a meditation practice that you do, or if you've fallen off and you want to get back into it, one Meditation is my monthly meditation community. We do a new meditation together every single month. It's an online subscription. It's your first seven days free and then $9.99 after that. And you get access to all past, current meditations and content. So um, if you wanna check that out, I will have the link below for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. We are talking my favorites. I'm so obsessed with all these products. I'm literally freaking out. I'm just talking kind of quietly because the baby's asleep and I'm trying not to wake her up. But I have so many things to show you guys. It's like kind of overwhelming and I want to say it's organized, but it's not. It's just like down here in a pile. I feel like I need to move some things because I wanted to try to do it by what makes sense. But uh, I don't know. It's not working out like that. <laughs> I just kind of stacked everything together. Let's go ahead and get started though because this video is going to be really long if we don't get started. Oh crap, I left some of the products upstairs in my purse. Okay, we cannot leave out these products. They are critical. So, by the way, I just finished filming this makeup look. It was using a $10 eyeshadow palette and also um, just like playing with a lot of makeup, different makeup, um, makeup therapy style. So if you guys want to see this look, it will be up on the channel soon if it's not already. I don't know which one of these I'm gonna put up first. <laughs> okay, so first let's talk primer. Two primers I'm obsessed with. Number one is the Milk Hydro Grip Makeup Primer. This is unbelievable. I got the mini size in the VIB sale. You can see that I'm almost halfway through it. Um, a little less than halfway and I absolutely will be repurchasing this in the full size. This is seriously like my makeup gold. Like, I don't know what's in this that makes it so good. And I don't even love like really tacky primers, but this literally makes my makeup last all day. Like it's as if I just put it on and then took it all off. That's how dirty my makeup remover wipe is at the end of the day. Like it's, it's like nothing happened. It's like nothing wore off. It's like everything is the exact same as right when I put it on. This is amazing. If you want your makeup to last a really long time, you have to have to have to try this. Along with this, I'm also really loving the Tatcha Silk Canvas Mini. I do also think this is something I will purchase in the full size. Um, I got the mini version because I bought a lot of primers in the VIP sale. I've used a decent amount of this and I do really like it. It's a great pore filling primer. It does not make my makeup last as long as this, but it still makes it last a long time. I am not sure which one I like. Okay, so wait, I do, I do wanna show you guys this. So I'm not sure which one I like better, the Bobbi Brown Face Base or the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas. This I know I like better for pore filling, but I think my makeup wears longer with this. I still need to test it out. I do like this. I like both of these better as of now. So that's kind of like my mini review on the primers that I bought this before a VIB sale. I am really liking both of these though. Like 
love this so much. Really like this for pore filling. I didn't think I liked pore filling primers, but the silk canvas doesn't feel silicone-y. It feels like pore filling and hydrating, which is a big plus. Um, okay, I have kind of a lot of favorite foundations this month. I just am really loving a bunch. I would say the top three that I'm loving are number one is my YSL Touche Clot All-in-One Glow. This has SPF of 23 and my shade is B20. I'm wearing this like half of the days out of the week. I love it. It looks amazing on my skin. It has medium coverage, you guys, which I thought this was gonna be more like my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, but it's not. This has more coverage than the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, although for a product like this, I give this my honorable mention. I'm using this one more, but this is an all-time favorite, and the one I get is um, the regular Tinted Moisturizer, not the Luminous one, and this has SPF 20, so in love with this, in love with this, but I'm using this more right now. Um, and then my second favorite foundation right now is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This is amazing. Like when I want a full coverage day, this is what I'm going to. Um, you don't need very much of this. It looks so luminous and beautiful without looking oily on the skin. And it really is like that perfecting. I think like when I wear this with my Hydro Grip Primer, like th these I'm loving together so much. And sometimes not with the Hydro Grip Primer, but sometimes I'm putting um, like the Bobbi Brown face base on with a little bit of this, the Tatcha Silk Canvas, and I really like that as well. So this foundation is amazing and my shade is Cashew two and one in that. And then my third favorite foundation this month is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. So this is like my drugstore favorite and then I have two drugstore honorable mentions. This is really good. I've been loving this for months. I probably tried this for the first time two months ago and it's such a good match for my skin tone. For First of all, this is the shade 420 and um, it just is a medium coverage foundation but it feels so lightweight on the skin and I think that's what I really like about it like it really does like fresh wear is a really good name for this foundation it um, does feel just like very fresh very lightweight and really 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 nice on the skin okay my two honorable mentions are from the drugstore the Rimmel lasting finish 24-hour breathable foundation love this is a light foundation I wear this when I just want to have kind of like a no makeup day with a little bit more concealer. And then my other second favorite, like honorable mention foundation is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. Both of these are light foundations. I do love them. I just wear them more on lower coverage days when I want more of like a fresh look than a lot of coverage. Um, they both have SPF, I think. No, they don't. Okay, this, the Rimmel does have SPF 20. I'm shade ivory and the Dream Satin, I'm classic ivory shade number 20 and it does not have SPF. These are both really great and buildable foundations. So you can definitely build them up to more of a medium coverage. I would say around the full mark, when you try to build up to that full coverage, it starts to get a little cakey. So I'm really liking these for lighter days or maybe a little bit more like medium coverage. They do build really well. Just up to that full mark with a light foundation, you're always gonna have a little bit of trouble, I think. Um, two favorite concealers, loving, just bought this. I hadn't been, I hadn't had this in a while and I just bought it the other day because I was buying the Maybelline foundation and it was like buy one get one 50% off. So I thought, I know I love this, I will check it out. I'm almost out of like my Catrice liquid camouflage, which is like one of my holy grail concealers. Um, so I thought I would just pick this up again and I love it. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer and my shade is light pale number 120 and then um, my high-end favorite right now is the Jeffree Star concealer it's the one I'm wearing today C7 is the most perfect color for me it's brightening but not too brightening because I don't love my concealer to be like bam like four shades later than my foundation not a big fan of that but this is so like rich in pigment and so creamy and blendable while also providing a really high coverage and a lightweight feel. And I know you're like, Abby, that's not possible. Like everything you said doesn't go together to make one product. Yes, it does. And it's this one. And honestly, he completely nailed this. Like this is a great, great, great concealer and I'm a big fan and I love the packaging. Like it's so extra, it's so very Jeffree Star. And it's just really, really cute and it's great. And the, the applicator is amazing because I never have to go in and redip. It holds so much product and you don't need a lot because it's so pigmented and so high coverage, but it really is like, it's like a flexible wear. It reminds me of that L'Oreal 
foundation, like um, flexible fresh wear. It's like a fresh wear concealer. <laughs> Absolutely loving them. Um, okay, what are we on to next? Powders? Oh, I forgot this product. Okay, um, loving, you guys know I can't like live without my Charlotte, my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, loving that, also loving this. This is the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face Illuminator in Crystal Clear. I'm wearing this today under my foundation and it just gives you like a natural, glowy, dewy radiance to the skin. Um, it works a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but this is even more like radiant, glowy. This is just thicker. That's the way it is. This is thicker, so it takes longer to sink in. The Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is kind of a tongue twister, by the way, that um, is just like thinner. It's a much thinner consistency, but they still both give a really beautiful glow, and they might both be like new Holy Girl products for me, because I'm really loving this a lot. And I, today, am wearing this primer with this, and the foundation that I'm wearing is the Clinique Even Better Refresh, which I have tried on here before. I think I didn't like this applied with a brush. I've gone back to my sponge and I'm obsessed with the way my skin looks today. So I will do upcoming, like, I'll tell you more about this in the future if I really find that I like it and it works well. But yeah, love that product. So I have only been setting with one powder. It is a pressed powder and it is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Blurring Powder. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is like a massive divot in it. Um, and like, the, cause I just, I use my sponge and I scrape it and I set with my sponge. And there's like a, I mean, there's like a pretty significant divot. Like this might be the first powder ever. Well, not ever. Maybe the first high-end powder that I ever hit pan on. I am obsessed. This is the only thing I'm using to set my under eyes. It makes my pores look completely like gone, like empty, like there's nothing there. It's so smooth, it's so blurring. Really, really, really good. And I'm setting that with my wet sponge, which I think plays a big part in that as well. Okay. Another one, loving my sponge again. This is definitely a favorite this month. I've been using this almost every single day. I went, I had been, you know, just using a brush and I like using a brush for foundation, but I started going back to my sponge and I was like, mmm, I see why I liked this so much. So I don't really know. I really love my sponge. Something I can't get enough of, and I think this is on sale at Sephora right now, the Becca Chloe Malika BFF Palette. I believe there are two versions of this. Mine is definitely the lighter one. This is amazing. This is a bronzer that I use every single day. You can see like how dirty it is around the rim. Um, I've been using this bronzer every single day almost. There are a couple other bronzers I'm gonna mention that I'm really loving too. But this has been my, like can't live without this bronzer. Like there is a massive divot in it. I just can't imagine, like I can't ever run out of this. It's my perfect bronzer. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it and it's beautiful. I also love the two blushes. I love the highlight. This is so worth it to me. So if you like like the way this looks, think you'll like it, like bronzers and blush with a sheen, um, pick this up. It's on sale at Sephora. I think it's on sale for like almost 50% off. So big fan of that. Um, a couple other bronzers that I am really loving. Um, the Rimmel <laughs> Natural Bronzer, you guys. I forgot about this. Picked it up at the drugstore recently and it is so good, like just as good as it ever was. It's beautiful color for my skin tone. Just loving it, loving it, loving it. And something that really surprised me. This was a whim. This was like a Target purchase on a whim. The e.l.f. Pressed uh, Forever Sunkissed Bronzer Primer Infused Bronzer. I don't know if these look similar. I'm gonna, oh my goodness, do not ruin your bronzers. They are pretty similar looking. This one's a little more orange. This is a little more cool tone, but both really beautiful. I'm wearing this one today. That's what I'm wearing on my face and I really love it. Along with the primer infused bronzer, I'm also really loving the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush, specifically in the shade Always Cheeky. This is the only one that my Target had, but this is like such a pretty, like light peachy pink flush. It's gorgeous. It's not the one I'm wearing today, but I am really loving this blush, and I actually have quite a few blushes that I've been loving this month. I don't know if they make other colors in this. I love the Always Cheeky color, though I like that like lighter flush. It would look good on like light, um, paler, like light medium skin tones. Um, maybe much darker than me, you won't like it as much, but another one I'm loving is Milani Coral Cove. The weird thing about this is, do you see guys how it's like the pattern there? Can you see like how the pattern, like it's like it's wearing off? Like this is like 
it's not an overspray, but I don't know. It's just like kind of odd. I don't really know what's going on with it, but I love the color. I love the color. It's like a beautiful color. But yeah, it's almost like it has like a light pink overspray or something. It's a really pretty color, Milani Coral Cove. And then the one I am wearing today is this one by Cover FX. Um, first of all, the packaging is amazing, and I saw so many people talk about these in the Sephora VIB sale, like their hauls. I can't believe that they they were like sold out of these, so I did not get it. But then I saw it at Ulta, and I didn't know they sold these at Ulta, so I picked one up. This is the Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer in the shade Soft Peach, and you have a matte color here and a shimmer color here. And it is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing both. I put like a light wash of the matte on, and then I kind of load up on the shimmery color because I like blush that has a sheen, especially in the summer. It looks more natural and sun-kissed and beautiful, and I just think, gosh, it's gorgeous. Almost looks like it's supposed to be like a blush and a highlighter, but it's not. This is like a blush topper, basically. Really gorgeous. Okay, another highlighter that I've been liking. Um, I've been liking two highlighters this month besides what the Becca Malika one. I've been using a lot of the Worth the Wait by Marc Jacobs. I don't know if this is limited edition. It is like a blind you from the heavens kind of highlighter. Um, I wear this not when I want a natural glow, glow when I want more of like that intense highlighter. And then I, when I want more of the natural glow, I've been wearing the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade uh, Be My Highlight, and it is what I'm wearing today. So that is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. It's from the dark drugstore. It's only a couple bucks, like super affordable. I really love the Essence highlighters. They're really, really good. Oh, I have a couple favorite brow products. So I actually completely ran out of this. It's the AOA Studio Brow Pencil in the dark brown, no, medium brown. I love this, it's like an angled brow pencil and they are sold out of it on Shop Miss A, which is where I buy it. So it's on my radar to get more, but while I'm waiting for that, I've been really liking brow powder again and just a more like natural brown. So I've been using my Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo in Brunette Dark Brown. Just looks like this and I'm just using like an angled or a flat brush to fill in my brows. I've also been using more of an eye primer. Going back to work, I realized that I needed um, an eye primer. I don't use them on the daily usually, but when I when my eyeshadow started creasing in the middle of the day, I was like, okay, your girl needs an eye primer. And I remember that Emily Noel recommended the Milani one, so I picked this one up. I will say it's a little tackier than I thought. I, at first, I thought it was kind of like a dupe for the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and it is like that same texture, and it's a squeezy tube like the Shadow Insurance, but um, it like st you, you almost can't like close your eyes or blink when when it's on there because it like it's sticky it really is sticky and tacky um but it does make my eyeshadow last and it does seem to work i just have to wait until it dries and give it just some time to do that so i do like it um i probably like Too Faced shadow insurance better than this though um been loving my l'oreal voluminous mascara okay i have something to say about this i know it's like okay it's a mascara and i don't really like to talk about mascaras and my favorites but i want to tell you guys I don't think anybody or any company could convince me that I need to spend more on a mascara than I do on L'Oreal Voluminous because I have tried a ton of high-end mascaras and yeah, they're fine, but if you curl your eyelashes and you use this puppy, seriously, it does not get better. Like my eyelashes always look lengthened and volume volumized and I can put on a couple coats of it and it just looks so good that like why would you spend a lot of money on mascara? I just don't understand it. So this is my PSA saying that you don't need to do that. You just need the L'Oreal Voluminous Black Mascara. Two eyeshadow palettes that I am loving, loving, loving right now. I don't know if this one was worth the money. I'm still deciding. So I'm not saying you have to go out and buy this, but this has been a favorite because I bought it in the VIB sale, so I wanted to use it. It's the Bobbi Brown Nude Drama. I think what I have decided that is that it might be a little too cool toned for me, but I also don't own a nude palette that's cool toned, so I am still liking it. I love the shimmers, like these three shimmers I use a lot, and I wear this a lot for work. I think it's a really pretty palette to wear to work. Um, but I also think I have other nude palettes I maybe like more. So this has been a favorite this month. I've been using a lot and I think it's really pretty. If you like cool tone neutral palettes, you will probably really like this, but I don't know that it's worth the money because I think there are some ColourPop shadow palettes that I like more than this, but I wanted to mention it because I have been using a lot and I do really like it. That's all I have to say about it. 
for my other favorite palette. It is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette, and I had to wait for this to come back in stock, but it is beautiful. I love this palette. Like, I wear this one a lot, a lot, a lot to work. I actually have never touched one of the pressed glitters. I don't know why or how that's a thing. Would that go with what's on my eyes right now? Oh, yes, it would. Oh, yes, 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 it would. Oh, my goodness gracious. That just took it to another level. Holy shenanigans. Um, so turns out I need all the ColourPop press glitters. I am digressing hardcore here. The ColourPop Sweet Talk palette is amazing. It's seriously so, so, so good. It's a great everyday palette um, for anyone, but especially if, if you like um, warmer neutrals and pinks and corals. This is like a dream for my like spring and summer self. So yeah, I've been loving that. Okay, first thing is the Watermelon Glow um, Ultra Fine Mist. Look how much I've used since the VIB sale. So that's how much I've used this month. Absolutely love, love, love this stuff. It is the finest mist. It is so beautiful and amazing. And then the big hit this month for me has been lip products. Where is that other one? Did I nab it? It's up on my bathroom counter. I'm leaving it up there for right now, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go get it, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. The first one is the, you've seen me use it a lot. It is the Dior Addict Stellar Shine Lipstick in CD Dream. It's so good, I've been wearing it nonstop. There are three all-time favorite lip products this month that I cannot stop wearing. One is that one, Stellar Shine CD Dream. The other one is this unbelievable L'Oreal color. I picked this up on a whim because I got like 50% off of it and it was it's the Glossy Fawn Color Riche Shine Lipstick. It is, I'm just obsessed with things right now, lip products that are like balmy with a little bit of like a nude color. That's exactly what this is. It is amazing. Look how, can you see like the divot down there? How much of it I've used in just the last, I think three weeks, maybe two weeks. I just picked this up. And then the other one that I can't get enough of is the NARS Orgasm Afterglow Lip Balm. Like, can you see, you can't, like, if I hold it like this, you can't even see the product because I've used so much of it already. It is amazing. It is just like a lip balm with a hint of pink, like barely a hint of like that corally pink color. You can wear it like with or without makeup. It looks good. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, I, I never buy backup of lip, of lip products, but I'm thinking about buying backups of all three of the ones I'm talking to you guys about because they're that good and I can't stop wearing them. Another one that I'm loving is the Tarte Nude um, Quenching Lip Balm. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They're like the vegan lip quenchers. Again, it's that little bit of color, lots of balm, lots of shine. It's like a glossy, colorful lip balm. Obsessed. If you have other recommendations of things like this, let me know. Not like I need another one, but I check it out. I'm also loving the Bettina Velvet Matte Lip Pencil by NARS. This is a really pretty, like matches the shades. Then it, it's so like pepperminty smelling, it's so nice right there. It's like a really pretty nude. It's one of my perfect nudes with a little bit of shine to it. For liquid lipstick, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Um, this is the best, maybe the best nude liquid lip color ever, ever. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a totally different combo that I'm not going to be telling you guys about because I don't know if I love it. I mean, I love it. I do love it, but I haven't been wearing it constantly. But what I am wearing is a little bit of this on top. And whenever I'm wearing a nude lip, I'm bringing this with me to just apply on top, and I'm really loving it. It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick, and it looks like this. It's just a gloss. It has a lot of color, though, but it's not, like, so opaque that you can't wear something under it. Like I'm wearing two lip products underneath of this and I love it and think it looks really nice. So I've been a big fan of this this month as well. So we did it. I could go more into like skincare and other favorites, but if you guys wanna see that, I will make it another video because it would be way too long. Thank you if you stuck with me this long. I love you so much. I hope you guys had fun with me. Make sure to give One Meditation a quick look if you want to start your meditation practice. I love you all so much. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.